If you're watching this video, it's probably because you just treated yourself to the Vive four-wheel mobility scooter. Congratulations and thanks for choosing Vive. In this video, we are going to show you the easiest way to unbox your new favorite essential. If we go too fast, no problem. Feel free at any time to pause or rewind, or pause and call your customer service number so we can better assist you. That's 239-266-7940. To get started, be sure the box is facing up and cut the zip ties binding the box. Then open the flaps. Inside you'll see the manual and scooter battery on top. Feel free to use the manual at any time during the assembly. Take out the basket and battery and set them aside. You'll need those later. Remove all packing materials that are on top. Lift up the steering column of the scooter and grab the seat and set that aside as well. Now you will cut the side of the box the back of the scooter is against. This will help you pull the scooter out with ease later. Remove the packing material that is blocking the scooter. Now take a look at this lever. D is for drive and N is for neutral. Make sure the lever is switched to N, which will unlock the brakes and allow you to move the scooter without turning it on. Grab the handle on the back of the scooter and pull it out of the box. See the armrest to the seat at the bottom? Grab those and set them aside to later assemble. Use the back handle of the scooter to help move the product out of the packaging. Now you can get the box out of the way and start the assembly. Remove any bubble wrap on the scooter and brush out any packing materials in the battery compartment. Clean it out as best as you can to ensure the battery will connect properly. Now, grab the battery and fit it in its compartment. Check that the top of the battery is flush as possible with the scooter body. See that metal flap? Move it so it's over both sides of the battery and tighten the screw. This secures the battery in a tight position to avoid it jiggling out of place during your travels. Okay, now it's time to put on the seat. Be careful when removing the tape and cardboard. You don't want to accidentally damage the cushion or armrests. Line up the bottom seat peg with the peg on the scooter and then set the seat in gently. In the basket with the manual, you'll see another bag with a star knob and pin. You'll need these for the next step, assembling the seat. Lift the seat to the desired height and fit the pin in the respective hole. Then screw the star knob until tight to help lock in the seat. Moving now to the armrests. Take a look at the side of the seat. See that star knob? Loosen it to make room for the armrest. Now insert the armrest and tighten the star knob. Repeat this step for the other side. Adjust the steering column to the desired angle and tighten using the knob at the bottom. Now remove the packing material from the basket. See that box? That's your charger. Set that aside and clip the basket into place. Take a look at the battery on the scooter. Remember that charging box? Go ahead and open it and plug it into the wall. Check the charging battery on the cord. If it's green, that means you're good to go with plugging the other end into the charging socket of your scooter. This is on the battery. Check the cord light again. It should be blue, meaning your scooter is now charging. We recommend you charge your scooter for 10 to 12 hours before your first use. You're almost done. Once it's charged, check the lever in the back to make sure it's switched to D for drive. Take the key and turn your scooter on. Now you have the freedom to go anywhere and everywhere with your new Vive scooter. We wish you safe and happy travels. Are you happy with your new daily essential? Let us know by leaving a comment, review, or call us at 239-266-7940.